Hi everyone, today's video tutorial is one for you on how to put together my new Babushka doll card. Um, I have a uh, template available on my blog, but first of all let me show you how the cards work. Basically they just look like a little Babushka doll there at the front, but they actually, the card actually opens up to reveal a set of four little um, Babushka dolls there. Um, this one's done with a bit of their new Bermuda Bay card stock, which I've just clear embossed some uh, of the doily design onto the bottom half of the doll. Um, some base, birthday basic DSP for the little um, head scarf and some punches here to create some faces. And on the back of this card, um, I've cut an extra um, body here so I can use that as a writing panel. Basically, the card then just concertinas up, closes flat. And the finished cards are about five and a quarter inches tall by three and a quarter inches wide and they fit into standard um, stamping up envelopes. Now this is the other one that I've done using some different um, pieces in the uh, template. So this one's a little blushing bride um, set of babushka dolls with the regarding Dahlia's little um, flower on her body piece and again some punch art little faces there. So that one concertina's back up this one. So what you'll get when you go to my blog on my tutorials page, you can download the um, template. Um, it's in two pages. The first page contains the template to cut out the um, body of the card. The second page does have some extra little elements for you if you want to, um, to use these. So it's got the body panel, the front little bib sort of panel, plus it's also got the head scarves in all four sizes for all four dolls. Now I will tell you that to create the faces, I didn't create a template because what I actually went ahead and did was to um, use our stamping up dies and punches and I'll tell you what sizes you'll need in a second as I put another Babushka doll card together for you. I just want to show you how quick and easy it is. Now for this card um, I decided, decided to use all pieces of the um, template. So in this one I just used the card body and this headscarf um, templates and this one I use the card body and just the bib templates. Now I'm going to put all three together. So the card body when you cut it out you'll actually um, be able to fit two um, Two cards um, out of two cards on one piece of A4 cardstock, and I just want to show you what I mean by that. If you run your template along the edge of um, the bottom edge of your piece of A4 um, cardstock, let me just put two um, two bodies on here. You can actually get two like that, two Babushka doll cards from one piece of A4 cardstock. I don't know if I can show you there. So I've designed it specifically so that I can get two card bases out of one piece of A4 cardstock. So you've got to love that. So um, when you're tracing your templates, guys keep, guys, keep that in mind that you can fit two on one A4. Um, so once you've uh, cut it out, all it's a matter of doing is taking your card and then just, I like to flip it over to the back side here. Let me... Um, Go in a bit here to show you what I'm doing. I just make sure you keep the bottom edge of your card lined up as you concertina backwards and forwards like that. And you should basically have all the bottoms of your dolls lined up. Give it a bit of a press down with your bone folder to make sure all of those um, side creases are in. And that's basically how easy it is to put um, the card itself together. The hardest part is deciding how to decorate these little girls and um, I'm just going to be really quick with this one that I show you and I've just cut out um, the bib pieces using some of the pistachio pudding uh, DSP and anyone that has ever made any of my shape cards before will know that um, I always put them together with Tombow glue and the reason for that is is that I like to have time to once I place the pieces down make sure I've got some wiggle time so that I can get my pieces um, exactly where I want them before the glue dries on me. So I'll go ahead and put all four bibs on. Okay guys, so I've got all the four bibs on there. You'll, you'll notice, um, the astute watch you'll notice that I've got all my designer series paper up the right way and my last little girl here, her design on her bib goes the, in 90 degrees to what these were and that was just me being savvy trying to get it all out of one little piece of cards, um, designer series paper and not 
following my pattern so tip if you are going to use DSP make sure you get them all up the right way okay so these little um, hoods then um, the same thing use Trombo glue to um, secure them in place So what you might have noticed guys is as I've been putting these little head scarves on, I've actually been um, putting them on the front of the card and then I like to pick up my card and check at the back to see that I've got, um, like if there is, if my hand cutting hasn't been fantastic, that, that my borders are even um, on both sides and that I get right as close to the edge as I can. And I can see that better from the back than I can from the front. Oh. And with Tombow you do have to be careful because it does move. Okay, so you've got all your little head scarves on and glued down. Now this is the part that I absolutely hate, which is putting um, the faces on these little girls, only because I'm not really good at face punch art. So um, people that are really good at it will love this part of it. But basically you'll need four circles now to have your four faces. Now I've gone ahead and done all the really fiddly stuff, which is putting the cheeks and the eyes and the hair on. I will tell you what I've done though. So each of these circles is a different size and I'll start with the small girl. Her head is a one inch circle. This one is a one and a quarter inch circle. This one is a one and three eighths inch circle. Now they're all punches. Um, the last girl is actually the one and a half inch circle of the circles number two die. So it's one and a half, one and three eighths, one and a quarter and one inch for the head sizes. So you can use whatever circle punches you um, have got. Now for these guys I've just used a combination of circle punches um, that I have available to make the cheeks and the, um, the eyes basically with whatever I had, uh, whatever shapes circle shapes I have on hand so for example I used um, the owl builder punch is a good one so I've used some of the owl eyes for cheeks and eyes depending and the little black circles in the middle of course come from the owl's eyes there um, some of the cheeks have been used the itty bitty circle and some of the other circles come from the cupcake builder punch um, and of course if you still can't get the circles that you want you can always resort, resort to a good old um, paper puncher to get some more circles or a copper dial if you've got one so really guys it's just a matter of playing with um, circles that you have around to get your eyes and your cheeks however um, you like them now like I said some people probably have a much far better method for doing that than, than I do um, so have fun and play with that. Now the hair, I will tell you um, how I did the hair as well. Again, it's up to you. Some guys have really got a super good punch art system sorted and you don't need to know how to do it. Um, but I will tell you, for these guys here that I'm putting on now, I've used um, butterfly punches and a heart framelit. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll just push this last little girl's head on. So I've used the butterfly punches to do the hair on these um, ones here. So I've used this butterfly, elegant butterfly and the bitty butterfly. And basically all I do, I'll get a piece of cardstock here and show you, is I'll punch myself out a butterfly. It doesn't have to be the whole butterfly. Oh, got a bit of dodgy cardstock here. Okay, so basically this is the bit, um, let me go in nice and tight for you. This is the bit that I'm using for the, the fringe. In here and as you can see the butterfly comes with this little tiny um, peak in the middle that's not a problem I just get my scissors and continue the peak there and there oops and remove it so now I've got a nice little fringe and basically I'll show you on a circle over here all I do then is glue it um, onto the top and then I just use my punch and re-punch it out so that it gives me a fringe look. Um, so I've used butterflies there and there. Um, and then I've used the itty bitty butterfly on the little girl on the end here. And then on this large um, girl here, I've used the framelits, um, the third smallest heart, to cut that shape there. But basically you can use whatever you like. The, one of the other examples, um, this one here guys, I've used the retired um, Blossom Builder punch and I'll show you what that one looks like in case anyone's got that on on hand. And basically have just used a couple of these blossoms here um, 
the petals rather, one this way and one stuck on that way and then just removing the excess and then went down to the small little one for the little girl on the end. So basically use whatever you want to create punch art little faces for um, your girls. It's really up to you. The template does only contain um, the body pieces, the hood pieces and the template for the card. The rest is up to your imagination. So um, I hope you have fun with this one guys and if you do create some little babushka um, doll cards. I'd love to see um, your final um, cards and what you've come up with to decorate them. If you have any questions, let me know and um, I hope you enjoy that one. I